what are the three key skills uh, required for data manager role? Okay. Um, so I've went through uh, some of the skills uh, before. I, I know that Excel is going to be just, you know, if you don't have the Excel skills, you're, you're really not going to be able to uh, pull out some small pieces of information and really dive into that data. Um, you know, it's used to look into different types of data files. You're able to look into, uh, you know, CSV information very easily within that, as well as running some simple reports within the data uh, to ensure that your, your data is healthy and accurate. Um, so again, the logical thinker, uh, being able to think through a technical problem and provide solutions for those technical problems if you're able to do that, it's going to be an immense skill for a data manager. Um, and then lastly, those statistic skills. Uh, you may need to help out an analyst or a data scientist to understand exactly what's going into a problem that they're having so that you can go back and troubleshoot that information within the data set. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Nick, uh, what are the four challenges you face in your job? Okay. Uh, the first challenge is since uh, being a data manager is a technical role, uh, we understand that problems are not solved in a linear fashion. Uh, I could spend eight hours looking into a problem and still not be any closer to a solution than when I was when I started. Uh, with technical problems, there are so many ways that an issue can originate. Uh, it could be the environment that we're working in. It could be the data that's actually being incorrect. There could be a field that is making one change and we're just not catching it. Um, you know, there's really so many different ways that it could be. Um, and then being able to communicate that as well up the chain because we, we create the databases and we have to be that first step. Uh, being able to communicate that you weren't able to come to a conclusion yet. Um, you know, after a day of looking into something and not really being able to provide a concrete time of resolution is difficult sometimes. Uh, the second one is security. Security is huge within data. Uh, we saw a few years ago the, the target breach of uh, credit card information and, you know, is just something that should be on the mind of anybody that's a data manager. Um, you know, you should treat your data as securely as possible, make sure that it's on the correct servers, make sure that they are password protected and you're not taking anything outside of the walls of your company. Um, so if you are uh, not very safe with your data, you might have to be, uh, you're, you're going to have a lot more challenges than if you actually work in a safe manner. Um, on that as well, some sensitive information, uh, you can actually be held legally responsible if you are blatantly disregarding safety protocols. Uh, the other one that I was mentioning before is working with suppliers. Uh, many times you are, as a data manager, getting that information from other sources and they may not view you as a priority to get information to. Um, for anybody that has to work with a client, um, you know, a mutual client with a supplier, you need to kind of remind them that you are both providing a service for that client and the, uh, you, you need the information to be able to do your job. Um, the last one, uh, as I was saying before, some laws, uh, laws are really changing uh, around data and how companies have to handle data. Uh, we see in Europe the GDPR being passed uh, a few years back and having to ensure that you delete members' data if they request it to be deleted. Um, there's nothing quite as drastic in, within the United States yet, um, or uh, with the, at least within the federal uh, government, but we could see that uh, some of those laws find their way over here as well. <laughs> 